Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and it's time for another vlog where I just update you on some of what's going on in the channel and in life. And so to start things off, Minecraft Exploration and Tactics is back. Uh, the series that originally started it all. I started my YouTube channel. We're coming up on just about four years ago. First ever video on my channel was Minecraft Exploration and Tactics, episode number one. And now, eight seasons later, here we are, still doing a lot of the same stuff, having fun, exploring the game and mechanics and doing science and caving and telling stories. And yeah, so for those people who are interested in seeing more of that, uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of more of that to come. And so I'm happy to have that series going once again. In addition to Minecraft exploration and tactics, there's other Minecraft content as well. I have restarted my Strange Land series on the Strange Land server for this year, and just had one kind of video to get back into the swing of things and catch up with all the stuff going on on the server, but I expect to be on there again this week. Uh, I understand that there has been a prankster afoot, I won't mention names, mod, uh, who apparently pranked a bunch of people, and apparently there's a little prank on me among them, so uh, I expect you can look forward to that a little bit later this week as well. Also on the channel this week, Minecraft Bingo continues as usual, but not quite as usual, because this week we have something special, something that's a twist. Everybody gets permanent night vision on the Minecraft Bingo seeds, which means you can go caving really fast and see all the ores and where they're hiding and be able to see the monsters without having to make torches. Speeds things up a little bit, makes for some better video, and just adds a little flavor to something that has been a fun game but has been pretty samey for quite a while. So for those of you who enjoy Minecraft Bingo, I hope that you're enjoying that as well. Something else somewhat out of the ordinary that I've done this week is done some live streaming of Terraria. And so if you're interested in Terraria or just enjoy hanging out in live streams, uh, you can always subscribe to me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Lorgon. Um, or if you're following me on Twitter at Lorgon111, you can find out when I'm live streaming as well. I don't have any kind of schedule, I just kind of stream when I'm in the mood to do so. Uh, but I've been in the mood to play some Terraria and didn't really have any other Terraria kind of series going right now. I'm sure I'll start a Terraria series when Terraria 1.3 finally comes out. Uh, but who knows when that's going to happen. It'll probably be another month or two, I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check out some Terraria stuff, and I've also had some trouble exporting video from live streams to YouTube in the past, but managed to get some of the live streams that I did earlier this week exported to YouTube. Uh, and so you'll see some of those videos on the channel. If you're not interested in them, it's kind of like different types of content because I'm like talking to people in the chat uh, and I don't have the chat recorded. And so it might not be interesting to everybody, uh, but you can also catch them afterwards, assuming I managed to successfully export them to YouTube as well. In addition to all of that existing content, I am in the prep work stages for starting a new series uh, on a new game that I haven't played on the channel before with a new recording partner that I haven't recorded with before. Uh, and so I'll continue to not give too many teasers about that, um, but hopefully that will actually be coming pretty soon. So look forward to something new on the channel that I hope you guys will enjoy. Question time. Last week someone asked, where exactly are you walking? And last week, in last week's vlog, I was walking along the Lake Sammamish River Trail. Uh, this week, I am walking around Marimore Park, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice day once again. Uh, once again, when the sun comes out in Seattle in January, you got to take it, <laughs> take time to take advantage of it, especially when you've eaten too much over the holidays and you're trying to walk yourself down to a better weight. Uh, and so I'm enjoying being out, getting some exercise, getting a chance to talk to all of you. And yeah, I'm gonna try to like. I don't know, I only know of a handful of parks that are kind of, you know, within, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes of where I live. That would be good places to film and walk around. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do different, I don't know, have different scenery in the background in different vlogs whenever I can. Uh, and so, yeah, hopefully look forward to more of that as well. And if you have any other questions you'd like me to answer, you can always post a comment and I'll try to answer in a future vlog video. That's pretty much it for a channel update. Uh, I have to talk about NFL football. For those of you who aren't interested in that, you can maybe just stop the video now, because I'll go ramble about that for a little while now. And finally, I can't vlog today and not talk about the fact that the Seattle Seahawks won the NFC Championship game this weekend. 
I'm a big football fan. I have been for many, many years, uh, and I've lived out here in the Seattle area for the past 10 years, and so they've been my team. And yeah, what a crazy game. Um, I could probably go on and on talking about the game. Brief synopsis, going into the game, I was watching with some friends. I have a friend that I usually watch the game with um, who's really into football, uh, but then he also invited some more kind of, you know, casual football fans over for a viewing party uh, this day. And so I was telling them kind of what to expect. And I was saying, Green Bay's got a good offense. They'll probably get off to a quicker start than we will. Uh, we just need to weather the storm at the beginning of the game. Uh, Seattle's MO tends to be we get better in the second half. Uh, and we've been playing lights out in the fourth quarter of like the last eight games that we've played. Um, and so that's when we'll expect to come on strong. And sure enough, the game was kind of going that way. We were playing really bad in the first half. We played overall kind of the worst game I've seen us play in a long time. And we were down 16 nothing at the half. Holt was like, do you think we can come back from, from this? And I was like, it's a little bit more than I was hoping for. I kind of thought 13 points down would be about where I'd still feel safe. But the defense was stout, was incredible the entire game. Uh, that's why the Packers ended up scoring five field goals and a touchdown. Uh, I think were they possibly the highest scoring offense this year and we kept holding them to field goals. Defense did amazing. And so because the defense was doing so well and keeping us in the game, as well as crazy special teams play with a fake field goal, uh, even with five minutes left when we were still down 19-7 to and really hadn't managed to put together much of anything, I was still feeling pretty good about the game. Uh, my friends were like, well, I guess it's been a great season. Uh, and I was like, yeah, we'll come back and score two touchdowns and win this one. Which didn't turn out to be entirely true. We ended up having to score three touchdowns to come back and win this one. Um, yeah, a couple minutes after I said that, Russell Wilson threw his fourth interception of the game. And at that point, I'll admit, I did have some doubt creeping into my mind. Uh, but basically, at that point, the game kind of turned around. Seattle just came on, they quit making mistakes, uh, and they just took a hold of, you know, Green Bay never never kind of put the final nail in the coffin. They never kind of fired the fired final dagger. And by leaving them in the game, Seattle hung in there and then managed to pull out an improbable, amazing comeback win. Um, one that will be remembered here for a while, and so it was really awesome. Uh, but at the same time, it was one of those that... For whatever reason, I wasn't as, I don't know, emotional or pumped up as I usually am uh, when watching the games. I was just, it just felt like one of those things that it's going to play out how it plays out. And that's exactly what it did. So that was a whole lot of fun for me. I don't want to spend too much time talking about football. I figured I'd save it for the end of the vlog today uh, for people who weren't interested. Um, but it's definitely something that was taking up a bit of my life. Even this past week, I've been watching lots of highlights and trying to think about what's going to happen in the game. You know how sports are. Uh, everybody likes to postulate what's going to happen and then afterwards talk about what did happen and what could have happened if something had gone a different way. Um, but yeah, it was a whole lot of fun and the Seattle whole area and the 12s are going to be really happy all this week and next week leading up to the Super Bowl. There's a lot of amazing storylines from this game that people will be talking about afterwards. Uh, the fact that we had various defensive players who got injured and kept on playing through and still played great games. Um, the Russell Wilson to Jermaine Curse threw six passes at him. First one's intercepted. Second one's intercepted. Third one's intercepted. The fourth one is intercepted in the fourth quarter when they're still down by two scores. Fifth one goes incomplete. But the sixth and final pass that Russell threw towards Curse ended up being for the game-winning touchdown. So they just kept at it, kept at it. Marshawn Lynch continued to just, you know, have a great day, as he often does. Defense played lights out. They were outstanding, as they usually are. We are a running team, and defense, that is, you know, the foundation that this whole team is built upon. And so that still managed to carry us through, even when the offense was really struggling for three and a half quarters. Um, yeah, an amazing game. I think that probably about wraps it up for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day and that I will see you again soon, whether it be out here in the real world or in the land of video games. Bye-bye.